All right, guys, so uh, it's time again for another unit test. So uh, this is the review for that uh, unit test. Uh, what I have here is a unit circle also. So make sure you know it. Uh, it is your responsibility for knowing this. Um, and I would keep it handy while you're doing this uh, this um, review, okay? So starting here uh, with the first problems, and, and I'll go ahead and post the... Um, um, the completed uh, review onto the classroom. Uh, it's an easier way to, to find it. So uh, the, all the answers will be up there on the on the Google Classroom. So go ahead and look for them up there. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just go through a couple of these problems so that you uh, know how to solve them. Okay. So if you don't remember, uh, this is a review for that. So if I look at number one, um, 31 over 36. Excuse me, 31 pi over 36 pi is not on my unit circle. I don't see it anywhere here. So what I'm going to have to do here is convert it because uh, what I'm asking is what quadrant does it lie? So I would convert it like this by multiplying by 180 over pi. Okay, remember, I'm starting with radians, so I want to get rid of them. Div uh, multiply 31 by 180 divided by 36, and that will equal... 155 degrees. Okay, that, um, although that specific number is not on my unit circle, I know it would be about right here, which means it would be in quadrant two. Okay, so that's how you work that out. <clears throat> uh, if I had something that looked like this, okay, again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. This is in radians, so by 180 over pi. And if I do that, I get that this is equal to negative 30 degrees. Okay, now remember, negative numbers, uh, at least right now, we haven't really talked about them too much, but this is not on the unit circle. So negative 30 is not on here. Positive 30 is, but negative 30 is not. So I told you guys, add a number, add 360, until you get onto the unit circle. So that will put me at negative 30 plus 360 is... 330 degrees. That is on my unit circle. Okay, right there in quadrant four. Okay. And if I had something that's bigger than 360, uh, 360 uh, I'm going to subtract 360 uh, until I get something that is in the unit circle. So 675 minus 360 is 5, 1, 315 degrees and that is on my unit circle in quadrant four okay so again that's how you work these out this is just a few examples you do these on your own i will post the answer so that you guys can see it okay so moving on this is going to be a big part of your test guys. this will be a free response question you need to know how to do these so uh we'll go through the first one here so you need to know your different trig identities so cosecant i don't have this one's written so let me just write them real quick cosecant is equal to h over o okay so i'm gonna need to find my h value and my o value okay so uh, again, guys, I'm looking at my unit circle here. Uh, you need to remember these identities, okay? Um, so, cosecant is H over O, okay? And I'm looking at 210 degrees. So if I look at my unit circle here at 210 degrees, I see it's in quadrant 3. So my triangle is going to look like this, okay? So, triangle looks like this, where my h is equal to 1. And remember, when I'm dealing with the unit circle, the h is equal to 1. My o value, remember this is theta, the o value is the y value. So at 210, the o value is negative 1 half. The a value is negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so if I want to find cosecant h over o, I'm going to divide 1 by my O value, which is negative one half. Okay, so 
when I'm dividing by fraction here, guys, remember this turns around. So it becomes negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. Okay, so that's my answer for that problem. Okay. <clears throat> so, um... Moving on here, guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and do number 8 here. So cos cosine of 16 pi over 3. So this is, I'm sorry, not O. This is A over H. Okay, so uh, first thing, guys, look for this on the unit circle. 16 pi over 3. If I look at my unit circle, all the radians, none of them say 16 pi over 3. So I know that this one is, excuse me. Um, I'm going to have to convert this. So we're going to have to turn this into Okay, we're going to have to turn this into a uh, degree. Okay, so if I do that I'm going to find that this remember the pi's cancel here. Uh this equals 960 degrees. This still is not on the unit circle, so I'm going to subtract 360. So 960 minus 360, that still equals 600 degrees. Still not on the unit circle, so I'm going to subtract again. And here I will find that I equal 240 degrees. Okay, That is on my unit circle. I'm going to move this over here. <clears throat> so here, 240, mm -hmm. that is here on the unit circle. So uh, what I'm going to do here is, since I'm in the third quadrant, this is the way my triangle looks. So my at 240, my x value is my a. So a is equal to negative 1 half. O is equal to square root of 3 over 2, negative, right? Um, and if I want to know the cosine, that's a over h, so it's just negative 1 half divided by 1. Okay, so uh, this one ends up being easy, guys. Remember, uh, we're just looking for the x value, the cosine value. And when I divide 1 half by 1, it's just negative 1 half. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how you work that out. And... I think uh, that pretty much sums it up for this this uh, particular topic. So, um, if you get confused, guys, go ahead and look. Well, let's let's do one more. So, uh, why don't we do this one? Secant four hundred five. So again, this is not on the unit circle. So I'm going to subtract three hundred sixty. And when I do that. I end up with 45 degrees. Okay, so um, 45, if I look at the unit circle, I kind of see it already here. It's in quadrant one. So my triangle looks like this, where h is equal to 1. My a value here is square root of 2 over 2. And the o value is also square root of 2 over 2. Okay. So secant is equal to h over a. So the 1 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Okay. So again, here I am divided by a fraction, so I need to multiply by the reciprocal. So this 2 comes on top. Square root of 2 stays on the bottom. So 1 times 2 is 2 on top, and on the bottom stays the square root of 2. Now remember, I can't have square roots on the bottom, so I'm going to multiply by square root of 2. Square root of 2. So on the top, I have 2 square root of 2, and on the bottom, I just have a 2. And although this is correct, guys, I mean, we can still reduce it. The 2s cancel each other, so final answer is square root of 2. Okay. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Please look for the next one, um, and we will continue from there.